All right, we've got a chapter 10 type problem. Remember, quiz 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and your final will all contain some kind of problem from chapter 10, A, B, C, or D. This is a problem from chapter 10, C, that includes multi-step reactions. So, I think the best thing to do is just to jump right into the problem here. And here it is. Remember, this is about careful reading, determining what the reactants and products are, and then going through your process the way you always have to finish out the problem. Okay, so a certain industrial process occurs in two steps. Carbon solid, oops, let me write more, is reacted with hydrogen gas, H2, to produce propane gas, C3H8. The propane is then combusted, which means reacted with oxygen gas, O2, to form carbon dioxide and water. If 68 grams of carbon reacts, how many grams of water will form? All right, so hit pause, see if you can go about the business of getting the right answer, and let's see what you get. Hit pause. Did you do it? Come on now, hit pause and actually put pencil to paper and see if you can get this problem right. That's the only way you're going to get better at this, so do it. All right, I'll try to believe that you actually did. All right, so what's the deal here? If it's two steps, that means two reactions. You can tell that the first reaction is carbon solid reacting with hydrogen gas to produce propane gas. Produce means a product, C3H8. And that's the only product. If there was another one, they'd tell you. Carbon solid, well, that's just carbon. You can call it solid if you feel like it. You can even put gas. I don't think it's going to matter in this problem. Reacted with hydrogen gas. See how the careful reading of the problem leads me to getting that first reaction? What's the second reaction? The propane is then reacted. That's a gas by combusting it with oxygen gas to form carbon dioxide, and you know that's a gas, and water. I'm not sure what the temperature is, so we'll just leave that as H2O. Okay, so that's reaction number two. A careful reading of the wording of the problem with things like combusted or reacted, form, produce. These are words that are big hint words for figuring out what's on the left hand side and what's on the right hand side for every reaction. Okay, now what does it say? 68 grams of carbon reacts. How many grams of water are produced? Well, every time you have reactions, you better get a balanced equation, otherwise you're in trouble. So let's balance this one. If there's one of these, the most complicated, then there would be three of those and four of those good start. All right, now let's take a look here. Uh, we'll try one, so therefore there would be three and four. Six and four makes ten, so that would be five. Good. This is nice, easy balancing. Those are the coefficients. You remember this stuff from Chem 110A? You got to be. Now, you got to remember that there is no direct relationship between the carbon and the water because they're not in the same reaction. You don't make any water from reacting carbon with H2 because there's no oxygens. You have to make this stuff first. That's the link, okay? And it's not always a one-to-one -one ratio link. Sometimes it's not. In this case, it is. So. If there's two reactions, we're going to have two mole-to-mole -mole ratios. The rest of it is just the way we've done it all along. Start with our first number, 68 grams of carbon. Convert to moles using the periodic table. The grams cancel, we're left at moles. We have to make this stuff first before we can react it with oxygen to make the water. So 
that's our first mole to mole ratio from the first reaction. There's one mole of the propane for every three moles of the carbon. Mole to mole ratio, step one. Once we get as much of that as we can make, now we react it with oxygen gas to make the products that we want. It means it's just the second mole to mole ratio. This is a one to four ratio. This comes from the mole to mole ratio from step two of the reaction. Cancel it out here. Now we've got to get the grams of water for every one mole of water. Same place as the periodic table, looking up two hydrogens and one oxygen, it adds up to 18.02 or something really close to that. To two sig figs we're fine because this number has two, this one has four, these are always infinite, mole to mole ratios are always infinite, and this is four. Our answer is going to have two sig figs. Grams of water matches up with the units we have left. And a simple plug and chug on your calculator. 68 divided by 12.01 divided by 3 times 4 times 18.02 calculator says 136.0377463 but if I'm writing that answer to two sig figs that's 1.4 times 10 to the positive 2 grams the best way to get good at this is practicing so that you can get your equations from the reaction. After that, this is straightforward business. If this was a four or five steps, you'd need four or five mole mole ratios. Finding that link between each reactant from one step and product from the other. Okay. Try some more practice problems. Good luck.